I've always wondered now, when you come here, though, there will be so singular moments is it there, that, it's, that it's almost well, like, it's almost like, do you see your life flash before you, your career flash before you when you come to Montreal? Yeah, I'm not really one to um, do that, but I guess when Andre just showed me through the museum and you see uh, Miles Davis in his jacket and Ella Fitzgerald with, with Dave Brubeck, you hear the story about how Dave Brubeck got the last picture uh, uh, taken by um, Herman Leonard. Herman Leonard. Mm -hmm. And um, then you see my little jacket there. <laughs> it's it's pretty um, overwhelming, and I, and especially because I'm Canadian, and uh, my career really started here. Just it did. It was that amazing so, moment you played at the Maison Neuve, and I think that was the first big hall you played. And that evening, then a couple of hours later, Tony got it played at the Wilfred Gautier. And in the middle of this concert, he called you out, yeah. sat you at the piano, and stood there and held the microphone. Yeah. Did you feel anointed on that evening? I'm um, curious what you felt. I felt night. like, I think there was a, David Letterman made fun of me, because I was. he asked me a similar question. I, I said, I just said, oh my god, it's Tony Bennett. And he goes, okay, oh my god, it's Tony Bennett. And I have a lot of those situations, because I remember when I first met Oscar Peterson here, too, like all all the very significant people that I met in, in my, my musical and personal life. And Oscar Peterson was someone that I put in my annual when I was 16 that I dreamt of meeting someday, or, you know, you put in your annual, your high school yearbook. And to meet him with Kelly and Celine when she was just, I think Celine was only two or three years old, and I just remember standing there and going, like, just, and I'll never forget that. I don't forget all these moments. So. Um, I think that this is a much more emotional place for me to play in every way and where I feel rooted in jazz and the appreciation for jazz and that this festival is just the most significant festival for me in, in the world for many reasons. <laughs>